YouTubers, Farm Boy Reef here. So on today's episode of Coral Friday, I picked up another beautiful specimen for you guys. I think you guys will really like this one. So the, the coral's been sitting here in my tank for about an hour now. It's been uh, acclimating, uh, making sure I get the salinity that matches my tank so we don't shock the coral, plus the temperature. You want to make sure and have all those things in check before you end up putting it into your tank. Um, so the coral I end up getting today is the, the fungia coral, or another name for it is the tonga coral. It comes from the Pacific Ocean. Um, the one that I got is the short tentacle uh, plate coral, and uh, it's semi-aggressive. The few things about this coral, it doesn't need intense light, and it only needs moderate water flow. So you can definitely put this in certain areas of your tank. Um, the place that this uh, uh, fungia coral likes to stay is on your sand bed. When it's younger, it actually is attached to a rock, but as it gets older, it ends up moving onto the sand bed. So this is a beautiful coral if you have like really nice white sand and you place it there, it's a really show popper. So that's what I ended up I got today, guys. Um, so the one thing about this uh, coral as well, the fungia coral, um, the only time to feed it, when it actually you see the mouth that's it's open, that's when you feed it. You can feed it uh, brine shrimp, mice shrimp, any of the little chopped up different kinds of meats. That's the time to feed it, guys. With this fungia plate coral as well, like when I was saying about feeding it, it only actually has one polyp in the middle. That's its mouth. So when you see that it, it's looking for food, that is the best time to feed it. Feed this coral about three times a week if you want to get great color coloring on it and you want to have a lot of great growth. So just make sure when you see the polyp in the middle, that's when the time to feed it. And with this uh, fungia coral, the short plate coral, and it's actually nice because you can put it in different areas and it doesn't have long sweepers, so it's not gonna be affecting and touching your other corals, you know, and uh, killing them and shocking. The temperature the coral likes in the tank is about from uh, 72 to 78 degrees Fahrenheit in your tank um, to make it comfortable, this coral. All right, guys, that's a little bit of information on the fungi coral. So right now we got it in the tank. Let's take it down to the lab and we'll do a little coral dip on it. We'll see if we have any pests, any little critters that are going to come off. And then we'll bring it up here. We're going to, I'll show you where we're going to place it and why. And then uh, we'll start turning the blues down to see if that orange is going to pop on this fungi coral, guys. All right, guys. So I made it down to the fish lab. Um, I got the fungi plate coral here right now. I have it sitting uh, in the revived coral dip. If I, you guys see my other episodes, I use the, the revive uh, coral dip uh, by Julian Sprung, uh, his company Two Little Fishies. Um, yeah, I end up paying at my local fish store for uh, $9.99. This is a really great product. I do not put any corals in my tank until I use Revive uh, Coral Dip, guys. $9.99. It's uh, worth it for $10. It's really good. So I end up, I have it all mixed up right now, guys. I got the, the fungia coral in here right now. I'm just going to bring you guys up close and personal and show you the coral and uh, see if we have any little uh, pests or critters coming off. And uh, we'll be good to go to end up putting it in the display tank. But I guys, I want you guys to check out this plate coral. It's not your typical, you know, your typical round one. It's actually, it's uh, like an arrowhead. It's very rare to see. And I'm very happy to end up putting this in my display tank. Uh, thank as uh, from uh, Aqua Valley, aquavalley.ca. Uh, you guys should check him out online, guys. Uh, he's got a lot of great corals and uh, great products. All right, so guys, so uh, let's uh, move in here. I'm going to show you guys up close and personal what this coral looks like, guys. Guys, this is the fungi uh, coral. If you guys can see, it looks green under uh, the camera right now, but I'm gonna be honest with you, it is actually orange. But how you guys can see, it, it's not round. It's an actual, looks like an arrowhead. It's pretty amazing. I'm pretty uh, happy to get this one in the display tank. You never see them like that very often. So as we're looking here, I don't see any pests right now. If we just look very closely, I don't see any movement. So hopefully it looks like it's gonna be pest free, this coral. But uh, let's agitate the water a little bit. It's moving around a little bit. I'll move the coral and I'll make sure and check the bottom of the skeleton. All those little grooves that are in the bottom of the skeleton of the coral, little pests can hide there. And then, and then they end up getting a display tank if they're pretty hardy. So uh, as we're looking, so I'm gonna leave this in the, the coral dip for 15 minutes, guys, to make sure we get rid of any pests that are there. Okay, so we got the coral flipped over right now. It looks really clean. So I'm just gonna double check everything. Just, uh, I see a few grooves that I wanna do. So I just end up just taking like a flat screwdriver. Make sure it's, you got it all cleaned up. This is just my, my coral screwdriver. But you see stuff like this. You just wanna make sure, you know, it's not eggs or something like that. You never wanna get like pyramid snail eggs. Pyramid snail eggs uh, are clear. So they're very hard to see, but you can see that. It's coming off. You never know, it could be, could be an egg sac or something. 
just want to make sure everything's clear. Like, see this white spot? Really weird. You never know. You know, it looked like something could have been feeding on it at one time. So you want to make sure. So there. It looks clean. I don't see uh, many pests of anything in there. So that's looking good. So what we're going to want to do now is I'm going to rinse this coral three times with uh, water out of my uh, out of my refugium. Make sure it's all cleaned out, and then I can take it up into the display tank. You always want to make sure uh, you clean uh, your corals off before you put them in your display tank, guys. All right, guys. I got the fungi uh, plate coral. It's all ready to go. I rinsed them uh, three times just with my aquarium water. Want to make sure we get the, all the revive uh, coral dip off them before we end up putting them in the display tank. Um, so make sure when you're uh, when you have these corals, you're dosing your elements. You know your strontium, magnesium, calcium. It's uh, so that keeps their uh, skeleton hardy, keeps them healthy, and then they color up a lot nicer as well, guys. So let's end up. Uh, let's take them up to the main uh, 220. Um, we're gonna place them in the certain area, and then uh, we're we'll end up turning the blues down and see uh, see this coral turn orange because it looked green underneath my camera, guys. All right, guys. So I made it up to the two uh, the 220 gallon main display tank, guys. Um, so I end up I'm gonna end up mounting here on the sand bed, and then we'll let's turn the blues down on the radions, and uh, we'll see how this color pops. Because downstairs it looked like it's green, but trust me, guys, it's a beautiful orange color, and it's really gonna help accentuate all the other corals in this tank. All right, guys. So I got the fungia plate coral mounted. I end up uh, mounted him here right on the sand bed. They like to be on the sand. This is a great location. It has uh, just enough light and it has moderate flow. So I, I got my other uh, my other phone here. I got the reef lake open. So let's start bringing uh, bringing all the LEDs down. So we just have our blues, and we're gonna see if this uh, plate coral is gonna pop the orange that it's supposed to be, guys. So let's start turning them down, guys. So let's take our let's take our reds down. Let's take our greens. Let's take our cool whites. So now we're just down to the blue, guys. So let's take our other blues down 25%, guys, 25%. Now we're just blues and uh, ultraviolets. It's hard to tell because it should have a filter, but I'm gonna bring you guys in nice and close so you guys can check it out. All right, guys, so we've got the fungia plate coral here on the, on the sand bed. So I'm gonna get my, have my reef link open. So let's start turning everything down until we get to the blues. So let's take our reds down to zero. Let's take our greens down to zero. Let's take the cool whites down to zero. So now we're starting to get a little bit of change. Now you guys can see that it's orange. So let's bring our blues down. So you guys can see that. Look at that beautiful orange uh, specimen there, guys. See how orange that is? Now if I had a filter on here, it would definitely even pop more. I wish you guys could see what I see. But still, that looks, it's amazing. See that? All right, let's, let's bring these back up. Let's bring all these back up on the reef link. So there we go. So let's do some presets on this. So just going into my reef link, we're gonna go to presets. So let's try Coral Radiance. All blues, polyfluorescent. Yep, very nice looking coral. Alright guys, so that's another episode of uh, Coral Friday. Um, that's a beautiful uh, fungia plate coral. You guys should, uh, should get one for your display tanks. Um, I just wanted to thank uh, my buddy Ashik from aquavalley.ca. Uh, um, you guys can check him online. I'm going to end up leaving his uh, business card at the end of the video. If you guys want to log on to his online store and uh, you guys can see what kind of corals and fish and products he has. He's a very helpful and knowledgeable person and uh, he'll set you guys up with everything you need. So thanks for tuning in, guys, uh, to this episode. Um, please subscribe, hit the like button, and you never know what co coral I'm going to have next Friday, guys. Thanks. Bye.